Welcome to biologyexamsforyou.com. In this video, we are going to discuss about a topic Agrobacterium, the natural genetic engineer. Agrobacterium tumefaciens is a gram negative soil bacterium that causes crown cold disease in dicot plants. Acrobacterium has the innate natural genetic engineering capability of integrating its DNA into plant genome ultimately resulting into a disease which is called as crown gall disease. Now let us have a look into the reason behind this disease. Acrobacterium apart from its bacterial genome it has a plasmid which is called as tumor inducing plasmid or type plasmid that is responsible for causing crown gall disease. Then now the organization of the type plasmid, it is a 200 kb large plasmid, has four major regions, a tDNA region or transfer DNA region that has genes for auxin, cytokinin, opine, etc. that will be integrated into the plant genome. Then tDNA has a left border and right border repeats. Then there is an origin of replication, then a virulence region that has genes that mediates tDNA transfer and an op opine catabolism region that has genes for opine utilization. So in this association the advantage of acrobacterium is uh, it is actually integrating the tDNA region into the plant region, plant genome so that the plant will synthesize opine, a nutrient that is required for acrobacterium growth. This is the normal infection procedure. Acrobacterium tumefaciens in the wound site as a wound response, these bacterium get in close contact with the root site. Then the plasmid gets integrated, transferred. The plasmid, the tDNA portion of the type plasmid gets transferred and ultimately integrated into the plant genome. And this plasmid has genes that causes proliferation, ultimately resulting in the formation of crown cord which is all the cells are capable of synthesizing opines that is actually a food for agrobacteria. Now let us have a look in detail into the plasmid organization. First of all the most important region which is the transfer DNA region or tDNA region. This region consists of three genes auxin, a cytokinin, a region that encodes for cytokinin and an opine encoding region. Auxin and cytokinin gene induces cell division that is a result as a result crown gall appears on the plant. Then opine, opine gene will synthesize opines that is not at all needed for the plant it is just the nutrient that is required for the bacterium. Then there is a left border and right border repeats that are required for successful transfer. So this is the region this, the region between the left border and right border repeats that is the transfer DNA region is integrated into the plant genome. Now another one of the most important second part of the type plasmid which is called as the virulence region or vir region. In this region a number of genes are present and these, these genes are organized into eight operons designated as vir a to vir h and at and has approximately 25 genes and vir region mediates the transfer of tDNA to the plant genome and this genome actually regulates the transfer of tDNA and successful integration into the plant genome. Now let us look into the detail the process of infection the stepwise process A wound occurs in the plant. A wounded plant region produces a chemical which is called as acetosyringol as a wound response. Actually, the bacterial chromosomal genes called CHV genes or chromosomal virulence, virulence genes facilitates binding of bacteria to the wound site. Now the vir region acetosyringol activates the vir region 
binds to virray protein which is an acetosyl joint receptor vir a phosphorylates vir g another vir viraporon which dimerizes and activates expression of all viraporons all the vir genes together mediates successful dna transfer and its integration into the plant genome now this is the diagrammatic picture you can see the plasmid right there uh, bacterial chromosome has chv genes uh, that facilitates binding of bacterium to the plant cell intimate contact of bacterium to the plant cell then vir genes that is mediating the transfer of tdna uh, t strand there will be a conjugation tube formation through that tube the tdna strands is passed on to the plant cell where it is where it moves to the nuclear pore complex and later gets integrated into the plant genome and what is the advantage or how we exploit acrobacterium's natural genetic engineering ability in our uh, gene cloning technology and as i as we mentioned in the second slide this is a tdna we are introducing the gene of interest into the portion of tdna or any fragment can be transferred into the plant genome by replacing tdna with our gene of interest provided that the essential prerequisite prerequisites are left border and right border repeats should be there so any gene that is placed between left border and right border repeats will be transferred and integrated into the genome then vir regions are required that is responsible for transfer then the third thing is the chromosomal genes or chv genes uh, virulence genes are required that that will facilitate the binding of bacterium intimate contact of bacterium to the plant cell and these are the three prerequisites for a successful trans transfer now this is a diagrammatic sketch we have a genetically engineered plasmid which is called as disarmed tumor inducing plasmid um, where the tumor causing genes like auxin cytokine etc are replaced by our uh, with our gene of interest so this plasmid is uh, this genetically engineered acrobacterium is co cultivated co cultured with uh, tobacco plant cell maybe protoplast later transform cells are formed from these uh, we are raising a regenerating a plantlet now we have a transgenic tobacco plant with our gene of interest in all the cells for more details detailed notes visit www.biologyexamsforyou.com thanks for watching